Alrighty, good morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever time of day it is that you are watching this video. Uh, I wanted to give you some information on your test, which is coming up later this week, the Unit 1 test over the Industrial Revolution. Uh, so I have the test here in front of me right uh, here. Um, I'm going to go explaining through how the test is going to go and then what you need to know in each section. Uh, first and foremost is you must must, must finish the test during the class time, okay? You're not gonna be able to come back in later at break to finish the test up or anything like that. Uh, I'm not going to allow that because that's not really fair for those that do finish in time. Um, so make sure you are pacing yourself on task and getting the stuff done in class. I mean, you gotta be here early and on time, making sure you're not late to class the day of the test and you're working hard the entire time. Now, uh, the test is broken up into three different sections. The first section, section A, is simply fill in the blank. Um, this is going to be question number 1 through 16 for a total of 18 points. These all come directly from the notes that you have written um, on YouTube as well. So simply look back through those notes. This is going to be a phrase. It's going to be a fill in the blank. Okay. Uh, so things you need to understand here is the shift in the Industrial Revolution. Okay. Shift from um, stuff being made at home, the cottage industry, to shuff, stuff, shuff, to stuff being made in a factory. Okay. Um, explain to me what that is, why that's important, and what's happening there. Um, be able to explain to me the factors of production, land, labor, capital, why those are important, and why you need each of those to start and open a business. Um, looking at some of the or the changes at this time period, okay, the uh, growth of different factories, um, different inventions like the steam engine, the most important coming about, railroads, canals, um, steamboats, all those different things right through there. Be able to explain those. Um, looking at crop rotation, okay, telling me what it is and why that is significant. Um, all those different things right through there. Be able to explain Adam Smith, Wealth of Nations, 1776, what that is, capitalism, okay, the father of capitalism, and also Karl Marx, Frederick Engels, the foundation um, of socialism in the Communist Manifesto in 1848. Those come from your notes. We haven't really had a chance to talk about that much in class, but it is on the notes. Therefore, you are going to be required to know that. Um, that's really it when it comes to the fill in the blank. Okay, I covered most of the things right through there. Uh, the next question is going to be short answer. Now, short answer questions, um, you must answer. Just simply answer the question. Um, you do not need to do them in complete sentences. You simply need to answer the question. Okay, so again, explain to me what these different things are. Um, Looking at the Industrial Revolution, okay, uh, why is it important to have these three factors of production? Why is England and the United States, why are those two countries the perfect place for this to be happening? Um, be able to explain what's going on there, and you should be good to go when it comes to that one. Um, be able to look at some of the basic economic stuff, okay? Looking into uh, laissez-faire economics. What is this? What does it stand for? Why is it important? Okay, what is that invisible hand just creepily going around? Because I'm weird like that, okay? What is the invisible hand? Why is it there, and what's happening with that? Um, why are people wanting to leave from working and farms, okay, where you are having a hard labor job, uh, but you have a higher quality of life, to going and living in the factory where you're making more money, but I guess you have a higher quality of life than um, you have more free time and you might die, but that's okay. Why are you going to be doing that? Why are still cities urbanizing around factories? What's happening with that one? Um, talking about life in the tenement, what it was it like? Why are we problematic in these things. Um, why were we using child labor and what's the problem associated with child labor? People to describe the inside of a mind, casing back to the reading on Moore's Beat, looking at that and describe what's going on there. Why is that important and significant? Um, again, looking at socialism and communism, uh, some of the lasting impacts of the Industrial Revolution, the last slide you're going to see on the YouTube notes explaining what's happening there and why that is going to be important, um, possible issues that could be arising as a result of the Industrial Revolution, and then explain to me the importance of labor unions. What is a labor union and why are labor unions in existence? Lastly, you're going to have an essay. Okay, your essay, you simply need to pick one of the two prompts that I assigned to you. Um, I'm not going to tell you what those prompts are, but they are things that we have talked about in class. There are things that if you've known, done the information and stuff you were supposed to do in class, you'll be able to argue either side of these, okay? So talking about those two things, argue from that. The actual essay is going to be worth 20 points. You also have an outline attached, which is going to be worth 10 points. Now, remember when it comes to the outline, it's simple. You do not need to be writing complete sentences on your outline. Just phrases, bullet points, so you know where you're going. That is all you need to do on the outline. Do not write complete sentences on the outline. You will not have time if you do that. Um, again, you must finish this during the class or you will not have a chance to go back and work on that. Okay, so if you have any questions, concerns, please get a hold of me, comment on this video, get a hold of me on an email or come talk to me in class. Again, your test is coming up later this week. Be ready to go. Uh, good luck, hang in there.
See you later.